What's up guys, it's FunFutcher here, back with another video, and today is a pretty special day. I actually reached 100 subscribers, or 1 of 4 subscribers, depending on when this video is live, and that's really amazing. I actually didn't think people would be interested in watching my videos, and at first, my original idea of creating these videos was just for me to get better at speaking and getting outside my comfort zone. And the fact that people are actually watching my videos feels really gratifying. And I just want to give a special shout out to the Unnatural Facebook group, the 100 Challenge Facebook group, and CrunchyCast, IGN Anime Club, Podcast Beyond, and Kinda of Funny Facebook group that I'm a part of. And I know that some of you guys there have subscribed to my channel, so thank you and I really didn't think I'll make it this far so it's really cool so for this video i'm actually going to do something special i'm going to do a desk tour of my setup of how i create my youtube videos so i think they are called desk setup tour or something like that so yeah so let's not wasting time let's get right to it all righty so let me give you guys a quick setup tour of what's on my desk and almost everything I use I either made a review of and I'll be sure to leave a link down below of where you guys can get them. Also I apologize ahead of time about all the messy cables I have. If there's any tech YouTubers out there I'm sure you guys are disgusted about my cable management and that's only because that I've been moving around so much that, that most of these items I have to pack and repack on a daily basis that I honestly gave up trying to tie everything down and make it look neat. But overall, it's not messy, it's manageable, but it doesn't look that nice. But yeah, I know, I don't have to defend myself, I think. <laughs> so let's first start out with the camera that I use on a regular basis, and that's the Logitech C920. Right now, I'm recording off the Sony WX350, and you guys have probably seen me switch between the two. And both record in 1080p, so they have really nice cameras. And honestly, if you're a budget YouTuber out there, this is pretty much all you need to start your channel. If you're gonna do some maybe streaming and just creating like the videos that I make. So it's attached to a $14 tripod that I got on Amazon. And it's nothing too special, it functions. And what's hanging off on it is the Cost Pro DJ 200 headphones that I made a review of a few weeks or months ago, I guess, I don't remember. But this is my main headphones of choice and that's because even though it's advertised as DJ headphones, they actually have a really flat response and that's how I monitor all my audio. And the great thing about it is that it has a detachable cable. Uh, the mouse that I use is the Logitech MX Anywhere 2 wireless mouse and again I made a review of it as well and I really like this mouse it's very nice and very portable and underneath it is a Senti mouse pad that really helps with just guiding the mouse around and it's really useful. The drawing tablet that I use is actually a Huin H58L, it has six programmable keys and on top of it is kind of like this plastic uh, covering it, just to protect the surface and it actually helps to preserve the nib on my drawing stylus a lot better and I also like how it easily glide around and speaking of the stylus or pen, I use the rechargeable Huin uh, drawing pen and that's because I lost the original pen and decided to just upgrade to the rechargeable pen. So it has two clicky buttons up here. The nib is replaceable and it recharges from the top up here. And you guys have probably seen me use it a bunch of time but I use the blue snowball ice right here and I have a kind of like a 
black plastic elastic because the red light kind of bothers me. And on top of it is a pop filter. I also use a 10 keyless Meccano keyboard from Tomoko and I'm going to make a review of this keyboard as well and the reason why I like this so much is since it's mechanical it's really responsive and it's also water resistant so which is nice if you accidentally spill anything and the, my main machine that I edit off and create my content off is the Sony Vio 14E Fit which is about a four year old laptop and I probably should upgrade if I have the money but the nice thing about it is, is that it has a Core i5 third generation so it's a pretty old CPU but it also has dedicated graphics which is the GTX 740M. Even though the graphics is kind of old the fact that it has its own dedicated graphics is actually prolonging its lifespan honestly so yeah you don't need the highest machine to create some the content that makes so uh, I'm, I've been trying to save up and hopefully I can build a new PC soon and right next to it is actually a uh, Seba USB sound card which is really great sound card because it acts almost like an amplifier where it provides extra voltage to the headphones and microphone so if you are ever in need of a better sound card than your internal one which is pretty uh, crappy. I recommend the Saber USB sound card and right next to it is some extra USB ports and I have it attached right here. So yeah my cable management is pretty messy but at least it's out on the corner of the desk and oh I use this Lego cup to store my keys and wallet and stuff so I don't lose them. Everything is on top of my self healing cutting mat and I like working off of it because one I had it for four years during college and it's just really nice service to work off if you have like a crappy desk and right next to it is all my geeky and anime stuff some of the stuff that you guys have probably saw in my loot crate unboxing and some of them I actually purchased at 2016 anime expo so you got your Digimon postcards, your Overwatch postcard, and some JoJo, Bizarre World, and Hunter x Hunter, John Grabasi. This one is super old. Um, it's from like a Burger King, uh, Burger King kids meal, and it's the Batman Beyond Batmobile. Some uh, D. Gray Man, Naruto, Azuna, some uh, rings, and Batman. And of course you've seen all my Pikachu figures and yeah. These items I like to have next to me just because it makes me happy when I look at them and yeah. Oh, you're probably wondering what this long cord is. It's actually a USB Wi-Fi adapter because the Wi-Fi on my laptop is kind of crappy now so I have to use a dedicated USB Wi-Fi extender and I highly recommend this one because it has uh, two dual band so it can connect to 2.4 and 5 gigahertz band and it's really really fast so I've been playing a lot of online games with that adapter and I probably could say that it's very reliable and stable. I also have a one terabyte Western Digital hard drive where I back up all my stuff and I highly recommend you guys uh, back up all your storage because you don't want to accidentally uh, delete any of your stuff and if your computer updates or something like that or something crashes and you don't have any backups you, you, you will lose all your hard work and that is one of the scariest things that I can ever imagine for any digital content creator. Overall that's about everything that I use on a daily basis when I create my comic and do my video editing and recording. And if you guys are interested I'll be sure to create a future video all of what software I use so be sure to like this video and leave a comment down below if you guys are interested in seeing that. And again thanks again for subscribing it's been really cool that I made it this far and I have a lot more 
content that I can't wait to show you guys. So overall, thanks again, guys. It's been incredible. And I'm sorry about all the cable mess. So yeah, that about does it. I don't know. I don't know how to end this video. Alrighty guys, that about does it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video if you liked it, dislike if you didn't, and leave a comment down below if you guys have any question about my setup. And be sure to tweet at me of your setup and how you guys make your videos if you are content creators. And for more fun content, be sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. But most importantly, subscribe. And I really appreciate all of you guys subscribing to me. It was really cool that I made it this far. And I think that about does it. I'm Fun Fuchu. I'll catch you next one. Bye!